re, Green New Deal is beyond the pale, Democrats have tried these giveaways before, with disastrous results, March 31st points. Stephen Moore's tiresome column about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's Green New Deal is the most recent article that sidesteps acknowledgement of a problem. He simply begins by trashing a proposed solution. When we address a perceived problem, first we identify the problem and seek to clarify and understand if it is a problem, only then do we seek solutions. The initial solution may not resemble the final solution at all. It is not meant to. It is meant to stimulate exploration and discussion until a proposed solution emerges that most can agree is reasonable to try. If I think my homeowners association is spending too much money and suggest that we need to cut spending on, for example, lawn care, a response of, that's stupid, we have to cut the grass. What's the matter with you? Does not address if there is a problem. The first issue to discuss is if we have a problem with our HOA budget. That is why Moore's article is so tiresome, he doesn't ask or answer is climate change a problem or not? Until we can agree that there is a problem and that solutions are needed, opinion pieces like Moore's are just polarizing noise. David A. Ames, Dallas Let's discuss Earth change as an EPA scientist, it seems to be a very easy connection, global warming caused by mankind's use of fossil fuels results in dramatic climate change, but, something seems to be missing to this climate conundrum. Many climate reports fail to address a far greater environmental threat than climate change. Earth change, primarily from earthquakes and volcanoes, are increasing and are now an emerging and viable environmental threat. U.S. government data shows that worldwide earthquakes in recent years have occurred on a regular and more frequent basis. California officials recently conducted an earthquake drill preparing millions for the big one. Last year, Alaska was hit by a powerful 7.0 magnitude earthquake triggering a tsunami alert, and the Kilauea volcano eruption devastated communities and caused mass evacuations. Similar images and devastation could soon play out with the recent Popocatépetl volcano eruption in nearby Mexico. These are just some of the earth change events that are happening on our planet, and many more are expected. Earth change is a more formidable and urgent environmental threat than climate change that requires immediate recognition. Tony Robledo, Dallas slash Lake Highlands What about India and China? I am convinced that the climate is changing. I am not convinced it is entirely due to the use of fossil fuels, aerosol sprays etc. No matter what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says, there is not universal scientific agreement on the causes and or results. My question, for all the climate change acolytes, is what do you suggest we do with the two most egregious polluters on the planet, India and China? Also, let's not forget Russia and some of the Eastern European countries. It is a fact that the United States has for many years done more to clean up the output of our factories and power plants. We produce more with less pollution than any major industrial nation in the world. If the Green New Deal or virtually any part of it were to be instituted, our economy would most likely fail, leaving China and India the driving forces of the world economy while continuing to pour out pollutants contaminating the environment. I have never heard any of the alarmists address this question, much less give an answer to it. I am just curious. Art Roy, Mesquite Disaster Speculation Alarming Re, Next Decade Critical for Climate Change, Limiting Future Damage Requires Bold Moves Now, Scientists Say, Sunday News Story, While conceding that seeing into the future is never easy, and all of these timelines are inherently uncertain, the story nevertheless proceeds to do just that, i.e., predict a dire future with certainty. 
The crux of the debate is climate sensitivity, the increase in temperature that occurs from a doubling of CO2. The report states, but the exact figure has proved difficult to pin down. Exactly. But this lack of essential evidence hasn't stopped disaster speculation by alarmists. Climate has changed, long before the Industrial Revolution, from natural forces. Yet the effects of natural variability are ignored by climate alarmists. The best evidence of climate sensitivity comes from the past. For the past 500 million years, atmospheric CO2 has varied, at times more than 14 times today's levels, with no demonstrated correlation to global temperature. Why should comparatively modest levels of CO2 cause a dangerous rise in global warming when this has never happened in the past? Robert P. Smith, Dallas slash Preston Hollow What will descendants say? The last year or two has seen an unprecedented number of natural disasters in the United States, major hurricanes back to back, tornadoes ripping through the south, the most destructive wildfires in California's history, record-breaking, sub-zero cold in the east and midwest, some of the hottest years on record, etc and overseas the rest of the world has suffered from ever-increasing drought, desertification, melting glaciers, typhoons, flooding, etc. All these phenomena are not unrelated. They are all part of a larger pattern of climate change. According to the vast majority of climate scientists, these are the beginning effects of climate change that will, without question, get much worse in the foreseeable future. It is easy to go into denial about the catastrophic nature of what humankind faces, but we need to ask ourselves one serious question, what will our children and grandchildren say about us 30 or 50 years from now? Will they curse us for willy ignoring the clear signs of the potential destruction of a livable planet for them? This question requires our active attention. It is past time to take a stand. Chuck Share, Petaluma, California. Our lives depend on facts re, doubting the experts, by Gary Hancock, March 31st letters. The writer of this letter, while stating he is happy that the monarch butterfly population has increased from last year, uses this increase to cast doubt on the impact of climate change, along with the experts, his quotes not mine, who cite that climate change will soon cause the monarch population to disappear. First of all, one year does not make a trend and secondly, it is not difficult to find scores of articles written by people who actually research and study the population trends of monarch butterflies, in which nearly all conclude that the population is in jeopardy due to climate change and the resulting lack of the monarch's necessary habitat burying one's head in the sand about the fact of climate change, that it is real and will have devastating results that will impact the lives of not only butterflies, but of our children and grandchildren, is dangerous. Science, research, facts and truth matter. That is a lesson we should all learn, sooner rather than later. Our lives are going to depend on it. Richard L. Daily, Flower Mound Dallas has the right idea as a Dallas resident, I'm delighted to hear that Dallas is taking the lead in battling climate change by reducing gas emissions. Since effects of climate change, like droughts, will hit Texas hard, I think it's crucial for Texas communities to address climate-related issues. Clean energy can do so much for the planet, and it falls on big urban powers like Dallas to take the lead in purchasing clean energy so that other communities follow. I also think it's important that Dallas is dealing with urban heat island effects by planting more trees. The issues that face Dallas and North Texas altogether are not unique to the region, and therefore it's essential to discuss possible solutions so that other communities know how to cope with climate change. Another great way Dallas leads is by reaching out to other communities to discuss climate change by hosting the North Texas Climate Symposium.
I was fortunate enough to see beloved climate scientist Professor Catherine Hayhoe speak during a lecture. She emphasized how important it is to talk to others about climate change because the more we keep quiet about it, the longer it will take to find possible solutions of climate change. Amanda Rose Russell, Mesquite Step 1, Go After Litter Chicken Little kept telling everyone that the sky was falling. So much so that the poor soul lost his audience. Maybe climate changers can take a cue from the little chicken, before we jump right into eliminating our energy sources, modes of transportation and our animals, perhaps we have some simpler things Earth's inhabitants can attempt. The US Alone is not the reason the Earth is polluted, world organizations should have major bind to getting all countries to war against litter or hold them accountable big time. Until then, we are paddling without tours. Earth must develop ways to make trash disappear from our landscapes. Biodegradable seems like an excellent endeavor for the world to master. Our money and our mouths should be placed on the science.